Hey everyone, I'm Damien Holver from TV Guide Magazine and TV Insider, Hi. talking with Jensen Ackles about everything. Uh, so, yeah, you have, we talked about this a little earlier after the Walker episode, but like you said, you're a workhorse. You and Jared are both workhorses. You both went right into other jobs. Like, after 15 seasons, of not just starring in a show up in the hinterlands, but like executive producing and directing episodes and doing all these fan conventions. You didn't think for a second, like, hey, Daniil, let's go around the world. You know, at the end of the day, it's just, it's what I know. It's what I've, it's what's been programmed in here. Uh, you know, it's, it's when you do something as, um, as intensely as we did for, for 15 seasons. Did you and like, did you and Jared go through like a detox or withdrawal after working so long together and then not? Well, Jared didn't have any time. I mean, I, I don't know if you've, you know, spoken to him about that. Oh, yeah. but he, he went, he went like straight in to Walker season yeah. one after, and, and he had thought, you know, the prior to COVID, he had thought that we were going to wrap up in April and then he'd have May and June and July to, to, go travel and, and relax and, and, you know, uh, somehow figure out what he was going to, how he was going to shed Sam Winchester and, and take on Cordell Walker. But, um, but he, so he'd had no time really. Um, so how did Kripke kind of convince you, all right, get back on the horse now. I was talking to Kripke about something completely unrelated. And at the end of our conversation, I was like, Hey, you know, I'm about to be unemployed. So you got anything for me to do over there on the boys? And, and he laughed and he was like, look, man, I'll, I'll, I'll bring you over here and, and, uh, and, and, and write you something, you know, all day. He's like, but, but let me think about that. Cause I don't know if I want to just bring you in for a, you know, right. a, a solo episode guest spot kind of thing. He's like, I, maybe I've got something a little bit more juicy for you. And I was like, okay, scary, but okay. Right. Um, and the next day he sent me over uh, the material for Soldier Boy. And he was like, take a look at this and tell me what you think. So it, this wasn't something that, you know, Crip just called and said, hey, uh, right. come on over. This was something that, that he and I, uh, that I had to fight for. And I had to give him a big enough, a big enough bat to go to bat for me. Uh, and luckily it worked. Nice. And how, I mean, clearly light years different from Dean. It's definitely yeah. different. But, you know, he's, uh, this, is, this is the original superhero from you know, 80 years ago, uh, this, this is, we, we actually get to see, it's kind of cool through, through soldier boy, we get to see kind of the history of bought. Uh, so oh. it's, a, it's, a, it's a great kind of catalyst to get a backstory on Vought and where Vought really came from. Uh, and, and in doing so though, you get to see this, the, you get to, to know this character as well as a, a, a variety of other characters from the past. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, this is, this is a guy who is, uh, he's, he, this is not his time. You know, right, he, he's, right. he's showing up in, you know, in modern, in 2022, and he's like looking around and he doesn't recognize things. Things don't look the way that they, that they used to when he was, when he was top dog. Right. And, and so in, instead of, uh, so, you know, he's, he's basically he's a curmudgeon. Um, and now you're in New Orleans still? I'm in New Orleans, yes. So why why film the Winchesters down there? Is it just for the pilot present, or, or are you going to set it down there? Uh, we'd like to keep it down here because uh, uh, a couple of reasons. One, it's a period piece. You know, we're, this is this takes place in the early '70s, oh. um, and um, so you've got these old historic towns peppered around New Orleans. Plus, you just have the vibe that is is yeah. New Orleans. So we, it's, it's written into the pilot script that, the, that, that they go to New Orleans on a case and they go to, they go to uh, Lafayette Cemetery. And so, so we're actually going to be there. We're actually going to do that. And, you know, real crypts and stuff. Not, not ones that we have to build on the, you know, on, on, a, on a school park somewhere. <laughs> and you're narrating it. Yes. Um, so I'm very interested to see how that, like, what triggers him telling a story maybe to a child. Um, have you talked to Jared about having him narrate an episode? We've had multiple discussions about how and when and what that'll look like. Um, and, you know, I, I, haven't, I haven't said, hey, this is exactly what we're thinking to him. But I've said, you know, this is certainly, this is certainly on the table of, mm -hmm. of things we would like to, you know, boxes we'd like to check. Um, how that looks, because when you understand where we are in the timeline of things, 
uh, it, it can get a little tricky with that, but um, but we'll figure it out because it's 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 supernatural. Excellent. Well, listen, congratulations, man. I'm so happy Thanks, for man. you. To read my full interview with Jensen Ackles, pick up a copy of TV Guide magazine on Sands Now and hit subscribe for more TV Insider videos.